In this recording, I would like to show how to enable quality management within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. The first place to go is within Inventory and Warehouse Management Parameters. Within this form, you enable quality management for each company. This is also the place where to set up the different document types used within the quality management area. After having enabled quality management within a company, it is time to set up the quality control needed functionality. One of them is test instruments. Another area is the different tests that are going to be performed during inspection. For each test, different test variables can be used. And the test can be grouped in a test group. Quality associations are used to define when to create quality orders in a certain business process. But in this area, it is possible to limit based on different parameters. One of them could be a quality group where the different items associated can be used for selecting inspection need. Now instead of using a quality item group, it can as well be for a specific item or for all items. For purchase order reference type, a specific vendor or vendor group can be defined as a limit for automatically creation of quality orders. And regarding the quality order generation, for purchase order, it can be triggered on the receipt list posting, registration, or product received. It can as well be blocked whether the further processing of, in this case, a purchase order is allowed. So blocking of an invoice posting. And if the quality order is failing, a quarantine order can be automatically created. The section of the specifications of the inspection needs on the test group and we have the next area, item sampling. Item sampling is another component that needs to be defined when creating a quality order. Now let me just spend a little time on the item sampling. To create a new item sampling, we need to have the item sampling ID specified. In this case, I would like to make one for 10% of sampling. It is possible to define either a fixed quantity or percentage. In this case, 10%. Full blocking is used to ensure that the full um, order line quantity will be blocked from being issued during inspection. So in case uh, we create a purchase order line for 100 pieces, the 10 pieces will be 
inspected, having a quality order defined, but the remaining 90 pieces will as well be blocked from being issued out of inventory. Per updated quantity will define whether we will create additional quality orders if, for example, we only receive a part of the purchase order line when the remaining part will be received, yet a quality order will be created. And per storage dimension and per tracking dimension specifies whether we will create quality orders per defined dimension value. After having defined the setup within the quality control area, let's move to the quality management where the definition for non-conformance is defined. To be able to either approve or refuse non-conformability, the needed AX user must have a user relation. This is defined as part of the user definition. Relations, add a new relation, as part of the quality management setup, diagnostic types must be used as part of the correction handling. The quality charges is defined for the non-conformance related operations. So the related operations must be defined as well for, for that type. And problem types is used for the different non-conformances defining as well for each different type of non-conformance. Thank you for viewing this core concept video.